to my channel. If you're new, my name is Benita. Here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. If you are new, welcome. We are getting back to doing videos twice a week. Usually on Wednesdays we do a luxury upload and then Fridays we do like a vlog or a Fast Five Friday. We haven't done that in a while, but we're getting back. I'm just getting my bearings back on YouTube. I've been away for probably like a month and a half doing some other things things but yeah we're back we're back at it so today we are going to talk about fashion week i'm just gonna add to the algorithm because that's all it's being feeding us <laughs> but i had a conversation with my friend tracy i'll pop her information here i told i asked her did she go to fashion week she did not make it this year but i know for sure she'll be there the next go round. but she made a comment that she really um, is not loving some of the outfits um, because the only thing I'm not gonna say the only thing but most of the things that are that is fed to us during fashion week is like street style you don't see anyone who is more of like a casual I don't know what to call it kind of more of a regular person fashion you really don't see those type of people but they're there um, but you really see the over-the-top um, street style type of outfits. You really don't see like a true ready to wear what I wore today outfit featured during fashion week. So I thought to myself, what about some of the ladies that I follow that in my mind that they have those type of, I don't want to keep saying regular, but more relatable outfits during um, that they're relatable outfits all the time but during fashion week they're there they're representing but you just don't um see them featured a lot first one that i wanted to chat about is carolyn gray i was just watching her youtube it's a bad snapshot of her but i was just watching one of her youtube videos um right before i started filming this video but carolyn gray um she calls us she calls her tribe cookies but we love carolyn i like her a lot because she has a relatable style now she can go all the way to the left in my opinion and wear something you know to target something that I would never wear that's I guess would be more high fashion or street style but she is very comfortable in her normal relatable style she is heavy um, on Instagram and YouTube she did work in the fashion industry she was at fashion week this year so if you don't follow her I'm gonna link her fashion week videos here so definitely follow her uh, if you're looking for just for some fall inspiration I think she's good if you just want the fashion week content she's good but she's really good you know under all circumstances another person that I love that I I would I think I'm still older than her, but she's closer to my age. And I think Carolyn Gray might be in her 40s as well, maybe. I'm not sure. Carolyn, shout out. I'm sorry if you're not. Sorry. But I know one person that is closer in my age group. She, I don't think she's in her 50s, but she is definitely in her 40s. That is Tanika B. We love a good Tanika B and a wide leg moment. Now, Tanika doesn't do street style, I don't think. She has built her platform on Zara Halls, Gap. I think she's done some Walmart um, collabs, but she is just a normal. I would say mom wear how she dresses with like the wide leg pants and a crop top or a tank top i have a version of that she has a very snatched waist and then she is um she's more of like i guess a pear shape i would consider myself more of an apple how she dresses again is in a relatable way she is heavy doing the rounds on fashion week um if you don't follow her please do i'm sure you have seen her content as well she just got her daughter off to school she's just good she's really good to follow she now is starting to do a little bit more youtube videos but if you don't see her on youtube follow her on tiktok the next uh a fashion girl that i think you should take a look at during fashion week and beyond is going to be britney pockets and bows britney i think this is her second fashion week second or third she's kind of new to the game of going to fashion week because I, I think she said she wanted to go before but she never did yeah i Think. I've always liked Britney um, because she, when she first started, I think she was considered a plus size fashion influencer. Um, I think her weight has gone up and down over the years. 
I just like how Britney dresses in general, whether she's considered plus size or not. I really love how she dresses. I always love her hair. She always has a nice bust down or a weave or a wig. I love it um, because I'm getting more into that, having like um, some protective style. So I always have loved her for that. But Britney is good, even though I think she can kind of do like hardcore street style if she wanted to she kind of keeps it with a southern belle edge because she's from nashville she's a southern girl i'm southern and i think i identify with her that way um britney's always gonna give you a nice jean with a high heel and a blazer or a, a button down she's just gonna give you an elevated basic. So definitely follow our girl Brittany Pockets and Bows for all the fashion week content. And I'm sure you guys are following her. Speaking of elevated basics to Shira, politics and fashion. Always, always, always she comes up in my feed, whether it be here on YouTube or on um, Instagram, because Tashira has always said that she is just a basic girl. Like her dressing is very basic her style pillars she would consider it be a elevated basic whenever she's doing a haul whenever she's telling us how to you know dress more relatable how to do this how to do that she's gonna hit you with some nasty basics she's gonna hit you with basics that we all have in our closet jeans white t-shirts jeans a button-up a nice boot a nice skirt a nice jean jacket she's gonna hit you with all of that stuff but she's gonna take it to the next level um, she does that with her jewelry with her ear you know with her arm candy with her earrings all of her jewelry pieces she does it with that which I am still trying to elevate that way I think I'm good well I know that I'm good I have a good handle on my wardrobe because like I said I'm doing the one in one out so that I don't have a lot of duplicates and now I'm ready for more staple pieces to put like the icing on the cake and if you're there Tashira is the type of person that you definitely want to follow I think she's new to fashion week too I think she only started going to fashion week I want to say three or four years ago just like Brittany but she came in with a bang she's really representing for the more um, relatable style girlies um I just I would love to go to fashion week quite honestly just to take content you know not to try to be something that I'm not I love New York I would love to go I would like to go with someone else who could take the content for me my husband probably wouldn't be the best one because he's going to be somewhere trying to eat and I want to be out moving and shaking you know out there um, you know, just taking the content. New York is one of those places that you want, for me, I would like to go to get content anyway, but um, definitely doing fashion weeks, I think you get more inspired. Another, another person who um, I think you should always follow, she didn't go to fashion week, I guess we can set her an honorable mention, is Jeronica Marcia. I know you guys follow her too, but um, she didn't go to fashion week this week, but she was in New York a couple of weeks before fashion week and she was doing shopping and she was doing the content and definitely follow her on Instagram. She is so inspiring. Um, I guess she would be considered um, more of a street style person, but she mixes it up. She will hit you with a good old jogging set and make it look really, really cute and elevate it to the next level. Or jeans and a white t-shirt, like I said, elevate it to the next level. She has a lot of staple, what people would consider basic pieces in her wardrobe, but she always will hit us to the next level. She's just always good to keep on your radar. Hey guys, it's Editing Benita. Um, forgive all the glow, but yeah, um, another person that I forgot, I should have definitely, should have been on the top of the list, is Kayla Cake. I'll pop her picture over now. She's really good. She's another person who's very relatable. Um, her fashion really um, identifies with a lot of us. She's um, much younger than me, of course, but I think the way she dresses, I can adapt a lot of her outfit style. Like I can adapt the way she dresses for inspo. Um, so she's another one for you younger ladies. If you are not so much into like 
hardcore street style, but you're looking for inspiration just for like everyday wear, Kayla K. And she always has a nice bob. Love her. The last two people that um, I think that are good to follow in general, but during fashion week would be Cassie Thorpe. Cassie is good. She actually has a fashion week vlog that she just put out. I like Cassie because again, she is another one that is in our relatable style. Now Cassie is, she I think deems herself a roundaway girl because she likes a hoop. She likes a high heel. She like a good bodysuit. But Cassie is always gonna be like a jeans and a sneakers girl. She will go to some of these upscale events with her Gucci jeans on, a Gucci sneaker, and a blazer. That's why I love Cassie. I love her. She is gonna hit you now with a good old nasty outfit, but she's also gonna hit you with the relatable wear, again, with like a sneaker, um, a blazer, a turtleneck, a t-shirt, a crop top. I mean, I just, I love her. Cassie is really, really good. Even though, just like a lot of these people on the list, you may not necessarily want to wear every single thing that they put out that they you know shoot content in or that you might see on their instagram but they're just so relatable because they dress like we do and they make it you know fashionable because fashion is not about your clothes it's about your style in my opinion last person that i would say to follow forever to follow always but during fashion week is going to be Alyssa lenore she has the most calming and beautiful instagram feed um last year when she went to fashion week she did a lot with fendi and she just, you're talking about basic. If you people, if people were talking about, you know, she dressed so basic, she's so plain. She's like a girl of my own heart with all the neutrals, all the, yeah, and it can be flat. I have to watch wearing too many or too much neutrals because it can be flat and you're gonna, you kind of start looking washed out. But with her skin tone, you know, she is of Asian heritage and, you know, she has more of a lighter skin tone. She still finds a way to make herself look vibrant, even wearing neutrals. I mean, it has to be a gift. But she, yeah, she's someone to follow. She always has good recommendations. Um... And I think she really loves what she does. She, out of all the ladies, she and Tashira are the ones that I really relate to, I would say, the most because they take normal everyday wear and really try to elevate it to the next level. They also implement it in their lifestyle, with their home. Um, they just they really speak to me the most. I think I'm more most similar to them and to Nika B. All right, well, those are my picks for influencers that you should keep in contact with. You should keep a watch on for Fashion Week and beyond. Comment down below um, some of the gals and guys that you like that I didn't mention. Um, Fashion Week can be overwhelming just with the content. I mean, cause I have never been, so I'm sure it could be overwhelming. Wow being there but just with the content and it would seem especially as our beloved influencers get to know each other and they start to hang out then we start seeing kind of repetitive vlogs but i like it i like seeing you know britney and politics and fashion and um, brown girl chi and then janae um monroe Steele and cassie all of them kind of hang out and start putting out their vlogs and seeing each other in their vlog i mean it is kind of repetitive at times but but I, I enjoy it because I just love vlogs. But again, comment down below what your thoughts are. And thank you guys for all your love and support. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And God willing, I'll see you here in the next one. Bye.